So uh, with the design content uh, presentation this afternoon, uh, there is myself, Chanel Eady, and uh, I also have Eldad with me, uh, one of our uh, top architectural specialists. So we'll be going through design content with you. Uh, we'll be going through the library and all the information that's available. And we'll also go through the downloading process and uh, putting particular components into your project and design. So just briefly, uh, Design Content is our online library with Australian and New Zealand manufacturers and their products available, as well as generic libraries. We also have a lot of news and resources within the website um, across the industry. So there's some really good reading in there for you. Now the downloading process, we will go through that. LDAD will show you how to go through and, and do your downloading. There's a couple of different ways you can look at doing that. And also to using design content within your project. Towards the end, we'll have some contact details. And if we have to have some time, we'll go through and uh, we can go through uh, some questions with you. I'll hand you over to uh, Eldad and uh, Eldad will show you through uh, the design content library. Hello everybody, hope you can hear me okay. Um, I'll go through this website, this is design content. Uh, so just go to designcontent.com.au. Um, it's a new redesigned website, we're pretty proud of it. Uh, we're obviously always looking for feedback and if you have any suggestions, please, please let us know. Um, on top, you see uh, there's a series of buttons. Um, you can actually go and search by either a product or you can search by manufacturer. If you, if you know what you're looking for, uh, you can just go straight away to the category here on the left or if you prefer a manufacturer, you can just select the manufacturer. So I'll, I'll have a look at uh, airport doors. You can see we've got uh, quite a few manufacturers in here. We've got over 15,000 library parts. Um, as Chanel said, some of the content is manufacturer specific, some of the generic model. So I'll like have a look at the airport doors. So this page would basically list all the products that are available under the airport door. You can see that you have um, 28 doors, 28 products in here. You can, if you want, select them all. If you want to download them all, don't have to. Untick that. If you know a specific door that you want, you can simply select it individually. You can select as many doors as you want. So I'll select a couple of doors in here. and. The next thing you need to do is add them to your cart. You can continue shopping, you can continue and look for other products. Simply go back to any manufacturer or to the product itself and, and continue downloading. Um, it will tell you in here what the version that's available. Uh, in this particular one we have 2012. Oh, updating Yes, yeah, so 2015 uh, content will be updated and available soon. For those that are a subscriber of design content, you will have that information come through to you personally on email. For those that aren't a current subscriber of design content, you will be able to find this information in the news section, which LDAD will show you through shortly. Okay, so what you can do in here is you can actually save your cart. Um, if for some reason, uh, if you need to go back to it or add to it or whatever, you can actually save it in here. You can also give it a name, so if, if I call it Airport Door, um, I can save the cards and download or just download only without saving the cards. So once I click download, uh, I'll put it uh, somewhere that makes sense. Once it's downloaded, you can actually go and search for it wherever you put it in. So that's where I put it in here. And unzip it. And there are the two doors. 
So in Revit now, I can simply go and search for them and, and load them back into my project. So I just go in here and I'll put a wall in here just so we can see it a bit better. I'm going to load the family, the normal, typical way, loading family. Load the bot. And place them in. There are the doors. Um, depends on the family and the type of it. You'll have uh, different parameters that you can play with. Um, again, depends on the family. Um, and, and some of them will actually have uh, just set sizes as a manufactured item. Some of them will allow you to create custom sizes. Obviously, it's the same normal um, Revit operation. Uh, if you need to, um, to create new one, duplicate, and adjust the sizes as needed. Okay. Now, another part of uh, design content is uh, our API. Um, API stands for Application Programming Interface. And basically what it is is third-party plugins. Uh, there's a lot of plugins available to Revit. Uh, we have uh, created a couple in, in design content, uh, and what I want to show you right now is actually uh, is the Knauf um, Knauf wall system. <clears throat> Once you install it, you can get it from our um, design content. Once it's installed, you'll get a, a new icon under your add-in. Uh, the wall system can have, you can see in here. If I bring it up, um, you can search through all the wall system available from Canal. If you know exactly what it is that you're looking for, um, you can type. You can on the left here. You can see that you have some filters that you can apply for your walls. So let's say I want a firewall of um, 30, 30, 30, and sort of start filtering the selection in here. Um, I can add an impact resistance. Um, in installation, obviously this one don't have any. And once you are happy with the wall, you can see it's selected. Uh, there'll be some extra information in terms of how the wall was created, um, what the installation, this is no installation value, the fire rating, and so on. Um, once you're happy with this selection, simply add to project, and now this wall is part of your Revit project, so simply select it, it will show up, as you can see in here, change it, and there you have the wall. It's as simple as that. Um, again, if you feel like, um, if, if you have any feedback regarding this plugin, if you are using it, please let us know. Um, the, the whole idea is that everybody's using uh, sort of the same uh, information provided by the manufacturer. Um, and um, that's it for now, really. That's all I can show you. Unless does anybody have any questions, that'll be the time to ask. You can simply type the question um, in the, the, the box here provided by um, webinar. While you guys are thinking of some questions, we might go back to the design content website and we'll just show you a few of the other features in relation to the library. Thank you, Elgad. We'll go back to the home page here. Now, as Elgad mentioned, you've got a couple of different ways that you can actually search for your products. Um, now, with the manufacturers in particular, if you click simply on the actual manufacturers tab, you'll notice that all of the manufacturer logos come up here on the right hand side for you. You'll notice there that you've got your generic logo as well. 
So if we go through and, and say, for example, we'll, we'll choose Chroma, we want to have a look and see what design content has available under the Chroma banner. And as you can see, it brings up the different types of fittings and fixtures and products from Coroma. So it goes through your, your typical shower type products, going through to all your basins, etc. So you can scroll through each individual manufacturer and you can have a look at the complete product ranges available to make sure that um, there's a lot of information in here that will, will help you within your project. There is some further information on the website about HUK technology, uh, the Australian and New Zealand Revit standards in which we use in creating the content. You've got some information there around BIM and some testimonials from subscribers and also to our manufacturers we're working with. There's a bit of information in the next tab in relation to custom content creation. Design Content does offer this service to particular companies. So if it is something that may be of interest for you, please don't hesitate to get in touch. How it works. How it works gives you a little bit of information. Um, I know that uh, you know new things can be quite tedious, so having some information just to help you out there in relation to the, the downloading and adding to your cart. Um, otherwise, uh, there is a design content representative that um, are willing and able to help you um, if you do have any further questions or you need a hand there. One of the really great aspects of design content is our resource section. So as you'll see here, Design Platform Magazine. So design content does uh, an annual magazine. So that actually comes out as our winter and summer edition. Some really good reading in there for you. And also to some of our white papers and, and case studies. In the news section, just as good as resources, if not better. You've got some information here from a case studies, manufacturers, our newsletters. But as I mentioned, um, the email does go out uh, monthly to all of the subscribers with the newsletter. However, we do also store them within the website. So just in case there's a technical issue or, or something happens there, you've got a copy of the newsletters within the library as well. So AWS, we've just done a new case study with them. That information's there. And you've got a lot of really good industry-specific information. So when you do get the chance, go through, have a look, and um, obviously if there's any suggestions, do let us know. Importantly, the contact us. So you can complete the contact us information if you've got any queries, obviously phone numbers, email addresses. So we do have support with design content. So we have a team of specialists um, that you can obviously get direct contact with if you're having any issues with any of the families, etc., or you just need a little bit of advice on, on a project that you're doing in relation to the families that are available for design content. We'll go back to the home page. As you can see up the top here, you've got your account, login facilities, and your cart. So with the library and the way the library is set up, as a um, someone looking at design content and uh, wanting to have a look and see if it's definitely of value for them, you can go through the library as we've just shown and uh, you can have a look at all the information that is there. I would suggest that if it is something you would like to discuss further, you'd like to know about the subscription, um, please do register your details through Register Now and a representative will be in touch with you either by email or by phone depending on, on which is best for you and which you do choose uh, to discuss that with you a little further and go over any questions or any further information you may require. So I suppose that's, that's design content um, and uh, if there is any questions or anything that we can help with, uh, either myself or Eldad, please do type some questions in there, we'll be happy to come back to you, but um, I would suggest if it is something definitely of interest for you, register, have a chat with a few of our representatives and um, obviously go over that information with them further from there.
we would like to thank you for your time during the presentation. Thank you for coming along. Um, contact details, website address, email addresses. Don't be shy. Um, if you do have questions or it is something you'd like to know a little bit more about, please do register or don't hesitate to contact me within um, phone or by email. Thank you all. Have a good afternoon.